you know Christmas is awesome when you have good food, good company. Cats destroying the house, especially taking down the Christmas tree. Right, we are back of my special Christmas edition. I'm, I'll be showing all kinds of games that I got for Christmas. And I'll be testing at least some of the games. You remember the Shin Megami Tensei game I got? The, the special edition? You can watch it on this video below. Looks like an awesome pile of retro, doesn't it? So this is what they call the PS1, PlayStation 1. Now this bad boy is modded, it can play any regions, whatever you like, and it looks like this. So if you've never seen a PS1 before, they're very tiny and robust, and yes, this one works perfectly. I will not be showing it off today, but perhaps when we're going to play Alundra, so we're going to put this one here. The next is um, from Tiger Electronic Shinobi from Zega. Now this thing is really cute. It's noisy, it's funny. Have a listen yourself. Uh, oops. Yes, I'm <laughs> I died. Again. So I'm playing in reverse. Uh oh. Oh, you get the picture. Alright, I'm dead. Yes! These noises are incredible, I mean... It will never make your ears bleed when you were a kid. Totally not. Now, the next few things, we're gonna take the Genesis games last. We got some fun collectibles! So... We got... This? Oh, then just... I think this is like a Super Nintendo collectible, so this is... A Legend of Zelda Link to the Past one. This one is from Donkey Kong Country. And this is my absolute favorite, a Zega Master System keychain. Like, who the heck doesn't want one of these? I mean, these are incredible. I mean, look at this cute little Zega Master System. I should definitely put this on my keychain. I mean, why not? You know, I think I'm going to do it right after this video, put it on my keychain because who would not like a Zega Master System keychain? So, this is The Last of Us. The, this is actually the NTSC version. Now, I've been doing some research and it seems the PlayStation 4 is not region locked when it comes to games, but it's region locked when it comes to Blu-rays and DVDs. Now, this is a beauty. But before we do that, <laughs> I'm going to keep you all waiting because I'm that mean. We have gotten Snack World! The Dungeon Crawl. Now, I have only seen a, a video footage on E3 about this game, and you know what? It's not bad. It's a weird game. It's kind of weird, it's cheerful, it's colorful, but it's an okay game. I've been playing it on the Nintendo Switch during Christmas, and I just want to say a big thank you to Spookish for Snack World on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not going to do an unboxing because the game is actually in the Switch as we speak. Now we're going to come to that, some very special stuff. So the PlayStation or the PS1, the Tiger Shinobi, and these two games here were sent to me by Bishop himself on Twitter, so thank you very much. So we're going to take a look at Sonic 2. Now, I could technically play this on my Mega Drive, but I would have to take it apart because of the weird shape of the Japanese cartridges. But this is how Sonic 2 looks like. It looks really incredible. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. It's completely different than from the PAL version and from the NTSC version. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think this deserves to be in a separate video. <laughs> We're now going to take a look at the Genesis games. Now, what's the difference between Genesis and Mega Drive? Difference 1. Genesis runs at 60 Hz and normally you need a Genesis system for it to work because after a certain date the Genesis games got region locked. Or actually all the Genesis Mega Drive games. So we're going to take a now look at Streets of Rage, the original cartridge. Also given to me by Bishop. So a big thank you again. Let's go! I think it's safe to say the game works. Oh look at that. So yes, I have a modded Mega Drive. 
that works of Genesis. Enjoy! Game works perfectly. Moving on. That looked fun, didn't it? Now we're gonna take a look at another game which was sent to me by Seymour Skylines. Big thank you to you. This is Tasmania the Devil. I have actually played this game on the original Game Boy. <laughs> Can't, yeah, because I have in some weird hacked cartridge thingy like. 100 games and actually this is like an instance of the same game over and over again. Oh no, 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 we got a knot. We got a knot. We have an emergency crisis here. We have a freaking knot. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no. Okay, this is gonna take 10,000 years to resolve. Why would you do that? I mean, to the person who decided a knot would be fun, you're very sadistical and funny, but we love you anyway. And maybe, maybe, maybe see Moscanis go like, ha 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 ha, they got a knot. Cause yes, jokes on me. Ooh. That was patience. Part two. Plastic! I mean, yes, this game came from the salad section in the supermarket, obviously. There you go. So we're gonna test this game. If it works on the Mega Drive, are you guys ready? This is going to be epicness. That game doesn't want to start. That game is like, no, thank you. Oh, the rudeness. There you go. We got it to work, I hope. excitement when you unbox games they don't want to work you're such a dirty so what you do when a game doesn't stun is to blowing the cartridge clean it's not really dirty yes clean it clean it oh you know never mind this game was actually dirty all right this was a very dirty boy this was a very dirty boy <laughs> oh, no. I'm a dirty boy. Pow. If you're watching this video, leave a comment in the video below. Because I'm such a dirty little Tasmania devil. Okay, moving on. We're going to try again. There you go. A bit of TLC and the game works fine. Let's see. We're gonna test the game. Oh, one longer so that that's cute, that's cute. Oh wow. <laughs> oh no, I'm sinking. Um, this game is harder than a game. This is Nintendo for you. Oh, Zega like Nintendo's too easy, we're gonna make things harder. I I'm dead. Okay, we move we can move on. The game works. I kinda die, but it's okay. Last but not least, I will show you this beautiful game. This one is actually worth anywhere between hundred to three hundred dollars. And this is Castlevania Bloodlines. Now we have Castlevania New Generation in Europe, as you can see. This one has blood. This one is faster! 
This one will kick your teeth and make you cry to your mommy. This is the ultimate Mega Drive Castlevania games. If, if you don't have this game, you're missing out. Let us start and take a look. See, it starts straight away. Look at that beautiful blood ocean. I mean, I heard it's good for your skin to swim in blood. John Morris. Sounds like a pizza delivery dude. All right, Mr. Morris, Morrison. I see, so he probably plays like Simon and Trevor while the other guy has a pitchfork. Oh, Lance. Oh yeah, this game works perfect. Oh, look at this! Gore! Yes. Look at this. Gore. I'm totally not floor humping while there's gore here. I would not do such a disgusting thing. This guy looks so beef that he doesn't fit in his own clothing. Oh wow. He's pretty, he's pretty, he's pretty tough. He's like, look at me. Look at me. Well, we can safely say the game works, and I, yes, I'll be playing this game soon on Twitch. So if you haven't follow, if you haven't done so, please follow me on Twitch, and you can watch me play this game live. With, of course, random silly commentary. Alrighty, this sums up all the games work on the Mega Drive or Genesis. Let us head back. So, as you can see, the games work perfectly, and I want to give a personal and special thank you to Spookish, Bishop, and Seymour Skylands for sending me these games as a Christmas present. They work awesomely well, and I can't wait to play them live on Twitch, especially, and it will be fun to test out a little PlayStation 1. If you haven't, feel free to follow me on Patreon and Coffee. If people support me on Coffee, you'll get your name in the YouTube credits, and, it's a, and you get access to pictures and other awesome content. And thank you guys for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!